Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Nash equilibrium. Well, first I would like to convince you that we need a solution concept that is stronger than rationalizability or you know, uh, dominant strategy. Well, why is that? Well, I have three examples. The first one is matching pennies. The other one, the second one is the battle of the sexes. And then the third one is the rock, paper, scissors game. So the matching pennies, well, there are two players. Um, so they're choosing either head or tail. And if, if they both uh, uh, choose head, the player, or if they both choose tail, meaning if their choices match, well, then player one wins, player two loses. But if their choices do not match, well, this time player one loses, player two wins. All right, so this is a zero-sum game. The reason is a zero-sum game is a game where the players uh, pay off when you sum all these payoffs at every strategy profile, the sum has to be equal to a constant, the same constant C. And here, for example, when you sum the payoffs, this is zero, the sum here is zero, the sum here is zero. So the sum everywhere is equal to the same constant. It doesn't have to be zero, but you know it can be any constant. So as long as the sum is equal to the same constant throughout, uh, you know, throughout the entire strategy profiles, well, then we call this game a zero-sum game. Uh, this is another zero-sum game, for example. And again, the sums are zero everywhere. This is not a zero-sum game because, you know, here the sum is equal to three, but here the sum is equal to zero. So therefore, this is not a zero-sum game. Anyway, so if you look at this game, uh, you'll realize that the uh, the no strategy is dominated strictly or weakly dominated by any player. So that means the undominated strategy for player one, the set of undominated strategies for player one and two are equal to, you know, the head and tail. What does that mean? That means if you use the idea of rationalizability or, you know, uh, iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies, um, and if somebody asks you, what is going to be the solution of this game? You know, what are the players going to play? Well, your answer is going to be, I don't know. I mean, they might be play H, they might be playing T. So everything is possible. So this is not really a good prediction, right? An expert prediction should be more uh, sort of to the point. And so it's not therefore uh, sort of useful uh, to really uh, analyze this game because you can't really make any prediction. For that reason, we need a stronger solution concept. Uh, even for games like this, uh, the solution concept should tell us something like, well, they're going to play specifically this strategy. Well, if you look at the battle of the sexes, for example, once again, uh, what we see is that the undominated strategies for player one is equal to undominated strategies for player two, and it's uh, B and O. Oh, by the way, the story of the battle of the sexes is, is simple. You know, there's a married couple. They would like to go to uh, an event uh, tonight. Uh, it's either uh, a boxing match or opera. Uh, the woman wants to go to uh, opera, but the man wants to go to a boxing match. Well, the thing is, obviously, uh, if, if they go to the boxing, the man is going to get higher utility than woman. Um, and in the opera case, the woman is going to get higher. So the second player is the woman. So the woman is going to get higher utility. But <clears throat> meaning the man prefers to go to boxing over opera and woman has completely opposite preferences. But nevertheless, they prefer to go to an event together. If they go to an event separately, uh, well, they're going to get, they both are going to get zero payoff. And for some reason, let's suppose they cannot communicate, so they need to buy the ticket right now uh, because it's lost, say, five minutes, and for some reason, they cannot reach out to each other, and so they have to choose their actions simultaneously, for example. And this is, well, okay, so uh, again, so here there is no dominated strategy, uh, meaning both strategies are, in fact, best response to some belief, and that means if you apply the idea of iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies, you're not going to be able to eliminate any strategy. And once again, if somebody asks uh, how the rational players play this game, your solution, your, 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 your comments to this question is going to be, oh, I have no idea because everything is possible. Everything is rational here. And finally, the rock, paper, scissors game. 
This is a standard game, right? Uh, so each player is playing uh, this game, two players playing this game simultaneously. Um, so you basically choose sort of a, a, a hand uh, gesture. You either choose rock or paper or scissors. And we know that uh, if one guy picks rock and the other guy picks paper, the paper guy is gonna win. Uh, however, if one guy picks rock and the other guy picks scissors, well, the rock guy is going to win. And then finally, uh, oh, the paper and the scissors. So the scissor guy is going to win because the scissor uh, cuts the paper. Uh, and if they both choose the same action, it's going to be tie. And so there's going to be no winner. All right. So we can represent the payoffs as such. So the, the, the tie is represented by zero, zero, and the winner is represented by plus one and the loser is represented by minus one. So if this is the game, once again, if you look at it, the undominated strategies for player one and for player two is basically everything. The paper, the rock, paper, and the scissors, all these three strategies are in fact undominated, meaning their best response to some belief. What does that mean? Once again, if somebody asks you, what is the optimal strategy in this game? Well, again, by using the idea of iterated elimination, uh, or, you know, rationalizability, you're not going to be able to say much. All you can say, well, everything is possible. Uh, because your theory, uh, your solution concept is, is weak. Um, for those reasons, we have to have a stronger solution concept. Uh, well, the solution concept that we are going to introduce is Nash equilibrium, um, and we're going to do it in the next video.